Third World Debt is Collapsing. Special Report, sponsored by VCPMI.com RoboAdvisor and the Equity Management Academy. Sri Lanka. Gravitas Plus reported on the crisis in Sri Lanka. The West saw the 1980s as a boom time. Latin America saw the 1980s as a lost decade. They faced financial turmoil and a debt typhoon. Two oil shocks sent oil prices sky high and took their foreign debt to new highs. Mexico in 1982 defaulted on its debts, and then one country after another in Latin America faced debt defaults, high unemployment, and crashing economies. Today, Sri Lanka is facing a similar crisis. The country has high debt. They spent more than the national income while cutting taxes. Externally, the cost of borrowing rose while the cost of food increased after Russia invaded Ukraine. All of it led to a collapse of the Sri Lankan government and economy. The Sri Lankan crisis could spread. More countries are set to fall. The entire developing world is at risk. Just days before Russia invaded Ukraine, the World Bank issued a warning that the developing world was facing a debt crisis. 70 countries, low- and middle-income countries facing debt repayments of $11 billion, which could easily overwhelm them. Then Russia invaded Ukraine and threw supply chains into turmoil. Oil prices skyrocketed. In March, the UN reported that 107 countries faced at least one of three crises, rising food prices, rising energy prices, or a tougher financial situation. 69 countries faced all three risks in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. Egypt is down to only three months of grain reserves. Lebanon has seen food prices increase 11 times and the currency fell 90% of its value. There is a bread shortage due to the war in Ukraine. Argentina is facing increasing inflation and has defaulted on its debt payments nine times. El Salvador and Peru also face increasing commodity prices and high debt. Ghana, Ethiopia, Kenya, and South Africa face similar problems. Turkey has increasing debt and soaring inflation. The World Bank says that in the next year, as many as a dozen countries will not be able to service their debt. It will be the largest debt crisis in history. Many states in India have debt-to-GDP ratios similar to Sri Lanka. The entire world is in debt distress. Governments have to cut spending or borrow even more. Creditors must offer contingency plans to borrowers. We need better ways to manage shocks, with less developed nations prone to disaster when shocks hit. The G20 should help use the framework they developed to restructure debt to cover all poor countries. We should also promote more alternatives to borrowing, such as improving tax collection. We should increase accountability and transparency, such as further clarity in Chinese lending, which often include clauses that allow China to dictate other countries' domestic policies in exchange for funding. This is, in part, what happened in Sri Lanka. Economic crises are a security issue and we must act to better manage economic crises, so they do not turn into international security crises.